Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we have a special video as this is an hour long FNAF fan film basically. It's basically its own movie and this was recommended to me so many times on my Discord to the point where my mods actually had to start purging submissions from this particular video. But I remember there being at least over 10, 12, I don't know how many there were until Sonic the Hedgehog was the only one remaining. And guys, in the future if you see other people submitting the same thing just react to it with like a uh, fire flame or something like that and that will show me that you also want to re me to react to that as well and if you're not a member of my discord already consider joining it down below and if you've got something scary to send me pop it in the scare bass submission channel and if i react to it i will give you a shout out so today we're reacting to a video called family comes first fnaf film by scope underscore wad now scope has just under 10,000 subscribers on youtube but due to the amount of submissions on my discord of this particular video i'm assuming this person deserves a lot more than that so guys if you're watching this and you enjoy what you see like the video subscribe to their channel go leave a nice comment you know go support them as best as you can because that's what we try and do on this channel we don't want to just react to content and just leave it there we want to kind of boost people up as much as we can so without further ado guys we're going to jump straight into this. Okay, here we go. One hour five. I hope you guys are comfortable. I might have to stop and start my camera a couple of times in this, but yeah, here we go. What is this? Oh, why is there like a little freaking thing there? I don't want that there. What the? Okay, screw it. I guess that's staying there. Family comes first. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's creepy. That's the end of, uh, what game is at the end of? When he, like, wakes up from the rubble or whatever. Is it a 50-20 thing? A custom night, ultimate custom night? Oh, look at this. Wow. Give me a sec, guys. That is super distracting at the bottom there. There we go. I got rid of the bar at the bottom. Can't really see. The lights from my uh, ring light, like, completely dull out any dark colours. So I can't really see what's going on. Looks like a hole was, like, bust into the wall. Oh, wow. This animation's awesome. Woo! We're outside, baby. God, I was feeling a bit claustrophobic in there, I can't lie. Oh my god, look at that. How is this man still alive? Brain matter. Is that his brain there at the top? Literally, because if you think about it, Springtrap is like the man in the suit. Oh, look, it's Baby. Yeah, Springtrap is kind of like the man in the suit. Like the, the human slash robot, you know, animatronic endoskeleton merged together into one. So he's basically a cyborg. Is she ordering something from a... That looks like a freaking... What is this? A 7-Eleven? It's like a convenience store. Okay, so these were like in the alleyways of the pizzeria simulator, right? Is this the story of uh, Springtrap being lured into the pizzeria? Or has that already happened and he somehow survived again? I love the cinematography. This is insane. Look at that. Man, I love animations like this, where it's like 
moody. Look at that. Look how moody that is. It's all about the lighting. And like, I don't know. Lighting's a huge part of this kind of animation, I think. So I'm trying not to yap, guys, but, you know, I'm, I'm keeping the video playing. So there's a difference. Look, that is vile. He's got some great teeth, though, if you think about it. All his teeth are still intact. Oh, there's baby. Oh, jeez. Okay, he had some kind of flash there. What was that? It looked like um, someone with flayed skin. Was that Enid? Remember how I said I lived like most people? I do. What about it? Before I killed my first victim, I had never gone to the theatre. Oh, boo-hoo. Womp womp. And it affected the way you see movies, is that it? Yes. It was that very night. I didn't even wash my hands. I expected the film to distract me from what I had done. Oh, okay. I couldn't enjoy movies like everyone else ever again. I felt terrible. Because I couldn't appreciate art the way I should. What is going on? Is that him talking with Baby? Is there no one else in this town? Like, wondering why there's, like, big-ass animatronics roaming around. Oh, man. I love the visuals of this. This is so good. What's this one called again? I forgot what the name of this animatronic is. <clears throat> Lefty? Is that it? Isn't that meant to be his daughter there? Inside Baby. Why? Well, I thought Baby was meant to be like huge. Or is that like a different Baby? Your face, it's all broken. Dad, it's been a while. Okay, so it is. Is it you who's talking, Liz? Or is it the machine? It's me. It's always been me. Liz, you are here. All alone. Again. No one's around, but my friends are here. Your friends. Why did, did her, am I going crazy or did the color of that just change? It was red before. So who else is talking? This is like an artistic piece right here. Where is everyone? There he is. Or she. Oh wow, I like that shot. It's Freddy Fab's bear. Oh, God, I don't like those eyes. They're dead. Is this like a purgatory? I feel like this might be... The whole thing might be purgatory. Like this is after he was, like, led into the thing. And now he's going through his own personal hell. Way off balance here. Look at that shot. God, it's phenomenal. Is this meant to, like, make us feel sorry for William? Oh, there we go. That's what it used to look like. Is there captions for this? Oh, there are. Maybe there's, like, 
secrets. Ah! That's vile, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of purgatory. Look at Bonnie, like, what the... This has got to be some kind of phobia right here. You know, like, the, the fear of small holes. This is this got to be on par with that. Oh. Oh, it's making me uncomfortable. Oh, no. It's Foxy. Oh, he's getting spring trapped. Spring locked. Wow. Why is... No, no sound at all coming from him. What a horrible fate, though. I mean, it makes sense. It's him dying. Yeah. So that was him, like, obviously jumping into the suit after meeting those children, the ghosts of the people he killed. But you didn't feel terrible for what... Oh, okay, so... This is for Spanish, is that? No, not really. I didn't really care. I don't really care. I do wonder if things will be different when I leave this room. If you do ever leave this room. Ugh, look at those bones. You fell asleep again. I'm confused. Where have you been all this time? I was... I got lost in the forest and I found this lake. A really big lake. Is this where Old Man Consequence is? The water was red and I met this crocodile. This tying in all like the FNAF games is pretty cool. A crocodile. Yes, he loved fishing. Yes, old man consequence. It's the only thing you can do in that lake, pretty much. How big were the fish? Let's try and do a William Afton voice. Here we go. <clears throat> pretty big then. They were this big. He had a whole collection of them. Fish I had never seen before. Apparently that's what William sounds like. I want to go fishing too. She can sing, she can dance. Maybe you'll go fishing with your brothers. Sometime soon. You'll come with us, right? Oh man, he's seen better days, I'll tell you that. Dad, Charlie wants to know what you'll do now. Oh yeah, Charlie, that's the puppet, right? That's the first victim. I made that machine so that I could keep her forever. Really? I think you did it to see how far you could get. Are you always going to contradict me? 
What do you want? What, do you want me to lie to you? I haven't heard a good lie in a while. A while? Well, I think that you were a good father. And that your creations were quite in innovative. Do you really believe that? Believe what? That I was innovative. 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 Innovative Eve. Innovative. waddling along there like how human they make that like you forget that there's like a human in there right Oof. oh wow horror in Utah now in select streaming services wait that wow they've made a freaking film about it Very like, it's meant to be like, I feel like it's meant to be artistic, like, it's meant to represent purgatory, I think. Use this. Oh, is that like, look at that waddle. Is that Michael? Is that Michael? Or is that meant to be like him? Why won't you die? Okay, that is Michael. Why can't we just die? Let go. Do you still think it's my fault? How long has it been? It's been... About 30 years. Only 30 years. Feels way longer than that, doesn't it? Henry isn't ready yet. He will wait a few more hours. I've yet to find your brother. I'll find a way. I saw a poster for a show. What's that about? When was it made? Right, the Utah thing. The team behind it is insane. They never got the approval to use the faces of the kids. But yeah, maybe don't. But they went ahead either way. The show came out. It blew up all around the world. Everyone knows about you. They think you're gone for good. What's their story? Am I presumed dead? Is that it? Eventually it was treated like any work of fiction. Merch in every store. The success led them to build an attraction horror attraction. That show is the reason you are here, free again. Of course. Oh, okay. You don't know what day it is, right? No clue? It'll be September in an hour. I see. Right, so... Saying that the movie was made, a, a, a horror in Utah, it did really well, and then they decided, oh, this is doing really well, let's go and explore like the old actual stuff, and I guess that's when they found Springtrap, maybe, and that's when 
they put him in the horror attraction and what we saw there was him waking up in the aftermath of the fire of that horror attraction and he's still free around and this is i'm guessing the events leading up to pizzeria simulator Like a family reunion. <clears throat> All of them ready to get burnt to death. Oh, good lord. She's got some freaking awful looking eyes. I mean, they... What is that? A big cloud. She's gone. He's going insane. Oh, it's like a freaking Aldridge being in the clouds. This whole like vibe, this environment's very like Max Payne almost. Just really gritty and dark. Now it's night time, I'm assuming. What is that then? What's that statue? That's very ominous. Oh, you can see his face in the cloud there. Oh, that was weird. Oh, good lord. Are you spewing blood? God, he spewed up a lot. That doesn't seem human. It's like a dodgy kebab. Yeah, this is like a purgatory of some kind. Is this him back in the lake? No? Maybe? He looks like he's in Kaled, in Alden Ring. Wow. The cinematography is really good. I think this is the lake, right? Or near the lake. Uh, what's that? There's a lot going on, guys. It's very artistic, okay? This reminds me of a... Of, there's a, a film called Gerard's Game, I think it's called. Or Gerald's Game. And it's, it has a very similar kind of vibe in one of the scenes, anyway. That's Old Man Consequences, or is it? There you go, there's a uh, Church of Marica. Go in there. Get yourself a sacred tear. How big is that guy? Guy's humongous. What a week. Not looking good, are we? I don't know how to bring him in. 
he's not possessing a physical body. What about the rest? The others are already in. Except for Liz. Are the things I'm seeing even real? Perhaps. In some way. Keep being cryptic and I'll stay here for another 30 years. I've seen similar things happen to plenty of sinners. These things could take the shape of those around them. They could even harm them. Maybe it's the, their one spirit you couldn't find. No, I would have known. Why is it after me? Dead sinners aren't meant to stay around. You've been on the surface for decades. You may attract entities that aren't meant to be. I'm not sure. What if it's not real? Maybe it isn't. Maybe none of this is. And it's just your dying imagination. As you keep rotting inside that room. Consumed by your own mind. Waiting for one day to get out. Damn! Damn! deep say so, so, so. I only see it all fall apart you make it all fall apart take your time and think about what you'll do next we're outside time and space after all do not expect any redemption okay guys just need to quickly stop and start camera only does 30 minutes at a time. It's a little bit annoying. So, this is going off like what? So this, probably nothing's real at all. The whole premise is that he's, he is single-handedly trying to get all of the victims or whatever into that one place where we saw Michael... And I'm guessing that's the pizzeria, the simulator, pizzeria simulator place where they'll all just perish. Um, but is any of what he's seeing real, like the whole lake and stuff like that? Like he said, that this could be just, um, was that the closet? Bonnie's closet? Supply closet? Oh, no, it's a bath. Okay. Yeah, is this thing real? Is it real? That's the question. This could be the, the FNAF 4 house, potentially. Because, you know, in the title screen of FNAF 4, it's all, like, red. It's like a red theme. They're, they, they live in Kalid, the, the Aftons. They... Oh, wow, look at that. It's a freaking cyborg. Who's this then? Oh, it's him. Is it him? Maybe before. Oh, jeez! Oh my god, that sent a shiver down my spine. It's one of those brain ticklers, guys. Well, you don't really know what's going on. Or well, you don't know what's real. Ugh, that wasn't a nice, nice image. Okay, baby, spring trap. So he's trying to get her into this place. 
I thought it was the other way around. I thought Michael was the one that was luring all of these people in. going through the freaking rubbish. Wow, where is this? This place is not hygienic at all. Look, his brain's exposed and he's there digging through shit. This can't be good for you, William. He's actually going to have shit on the brain. Brain rot. Hello? William. This machine of yours that Mike let in, it only holds four spirits. Where is the fifth? Good question. It's out there then. It could be getting it keeping your kid. Within itself. I suppose it will come after you. Convincing. It would be impossible. Convincing it would be impossible. Do you still have those old audio tapes? I do. I do. Mike has been using them. Let him use them on me. You'd lose control of your suit. It'll become quite aggressive. I don't care. Very well. Baby doll. Circus baby. Oh, uh, who's that? You just know that breath is horrific. Oh, that's a big ass head. Okay, so who's on the phone there? Is that meant to be Henry on the phone? Ugh. That's disgusting. It's like the big golden Freddy head. Henry and William are working together right now, or... Well, that's creepy. You, you know, let's not forget, guys. I mean, don't let this make, make you feel sorry for William. This man murdered children. Don't forget what he did. They're trying to, I feel like maybe it's just for me, right? I feel like they're giving him like a redemption act, but it's like, no, I don't think you deserve it. Yes, for your birthday. There's old Spring Bonnie. Did you see that? Yes. It's like Silent Hill, this whole thing. It's like a, a land between lands. Okay, are they going into the... 
into the pizzeria now. Oh my god. Ah, uh, who's this? The freaking Benadryl demon. If you could go back in time, would you change anything? This is meant to be old man consequences, right? Okay, yeah. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Probably not. I would most likely change my methods. He's, there's nothing redeemable about this man. But I don't really mind now. Ugh. Michael looking like freaking, was it Red Face from Captain America? Is this like the interview? Ah, uh, okay, with the, yeah. God, it's a little helpy. This is inside the room, right? Where you, you do all the like printing and stuff. So this audio is meant to kind of like take the soul away or make the soul not in control of the suit anymore Something's gonna be right there. Where's that? Is that him? Ooh. Ah. Uh. Man, spring trap just needs killing. Just, just look at him. You can't kill him though. That's the thing. They tried. Well, they didn't try. I guess with the fire. Well, I guess Michael tried, maybe. I don't know. I'm unfamiliar with all the story. Like, he keeps changing, like, which one is he actually in? Is he here? Is he there with Michael? Is he... Where is he? It's like he's trying to find the Lord or maybe like trying to be redeemed or something like that. I mean, he himself said he wouldn't change anything that he's done. So he must know that his sins aren't just going to be washed away. Maybe this guy is the devil. He came here looking for you. Definitely not a human spirit. Not this one. Yeah. What the hell is that? Not a human spirit. So he's trying to look for his son. So it's saying it's not a human spirit, so what, it's a demon? He 
You should get it out of my lake. Before I lose my temper as well. Uh, <clears throat> so here's this. Deep. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that shot. That was really nice. Is that a big face down there? Oh, it is. Oh, it's very Silent Hill. I love that. The Silent Hill was full of this stuff like this, especially number four. Oh my god. It's getting beaten up. I'm trying to... So what does this represent here? Because that's spring trap. They're, they're both spring trap. The one's like a demon and the other's... I mean, William's basically a freaking demon. Uh-oh. Okay, so William's going to bash this thing's... Oh, it's Nightmare Fredbear. Oh, God. Is that... meant to be where the kid is? Oh, my God. That certainly was the bite of... No. Okay, now we're going into... Okay, so it's going through all of like, the games in its own unique way. And what they represent. Or maybe... See, what the creator's done here, yeah, is that they're going through all the games and they're using it as like a purgatory for William to be like, you know, you're, this is what you created. You're now stuck in a howl that you created, basically. Dude, why did you punch me in my eye? That fucking hurt. Are you gonna bash his brains in more? Oh my god, what is this? Stranger Things. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's horrifying. I'm gonna scoop you in there, but... Oh, my God. This poor guy. He got his freaking head bit. And now he's gonna get sucked into baby's stomach. It's all scooped. Okay, yeah, there's Golden Freddy. What have you done? Oh, wow, that was... Oh, it's a scooper. He's gonna get scooped. So they say the scooper is used to get the exoskeleton out of the animatronic, right? But I'm guessing it's more so for getting dead children out of the suit and then using them into this uh, thing to give immortality. <laughs> oh, good Lord, what happened? I sneezed. Oh, no. That's his nicked good.
He needs his vape. Oh my god, what is this? It's his heart in his mouth. This is a wolf. There we go. You see my cat in the background? I don't think you can. Is that a, what is that, a heart or a fetus? Hang on, I think there's four hearts, maybe. One, two, three, four. Oh no! Little bonbon. Oof. Love the sound design in this. Really good. Hang on. Is this a Skinema Rink reference? This is a Skinema Rink reference. Right at the end. Like, they're, they're, they're trapped in, like, this, like ever-ending loop of like death like it die reset die reset die and that's what's kind of happening here jeez man wow this is better than skin and rink let me tell you that i ate their hearts did he actually i thought it would purify my soul you, just for the sake of experimenting. There's one story I haven't told you yet. Back when we still worked at Fredbear's, we, Henry and I, had this regular client. A priest that would come with his two kids every Friday. Charming guy, always asked for the same toppings. But then he simply stopped coming. Henry thought something might have happened. I told him that he probably found a better restaurant and that we needed to make something new. About a month later, the priest showed up again, all by himself at sunset. We sat down with him and talked. He seemed pretty cheerful more than before, said his wife had grounded his kids, so he chose to come by himself. Interesting. He didn't order anything, then he just left. Later that day, Henry and I found out he was killed the week before by his own wife. We checked the security cameras there was no one there with us at the table. Henry was really distraught. That's not how you sit down there. I oh, know it is. It's, it's just, I thought he was lying down for some reason. I was fascinated. Now that I look back on it, the priest gave me a smile right before he left. A wide, lifeless smile, hardly human. As if he knew what I was going to do. Do you remember the names of his kids? Freddy and Bonnie. Can't remember the priest's name. So what he named like Fred, Freddy's friends after the children, or just Freddy in general, I guess. Is that green? You've been looking for me. Oh, this is okay. This is his kid. Seems like all you all seems like I have you all to myself. Let go of my kid. What would you do if you could go back in time? I'll do it all over again. My God, he loves it. He just loves it. Can't help himself. You're going to kill this kid? This, this... Oh, 
Oi, okay. Your rage is rotten. A shame. You've changed for the worst. I know. Oof. That was not me. This whole thing must be purgatory. This was done by one person? This is insane. Oh my god. That's horrifying. I'm trying to pull the knife out. Oh, this is like a fever dream. Where is he now? Oh, okay. Still see the person in there. What's going on? Is this his spirit coming out? Oh, good lord. Front facing William Afton. How do people not see this guy and go, yeah, this guy's a freaking killer? Maybe he looked different, though. This is him all, like, shaggy and grown out. Okay, there's a crying child and... So this is the theory that there's two spirits in one thing, right? The Stitch, or whatever it's called. I recently found out that my parents... Stitch, they passed away a decade ago. They've been waiting for me. I'm done hating you. It's a nightmare. There is nothing I can take away from you. I haven't told him anything. Do it yourself. Okay, so... That was another victim, most likely, of Williams. And this is the victim of his brother. Dad? It's okay. You can go. I'll tell you everything later. I missed you. A lot. Jeez. I'll be right behind you. He knows he doesn't deserve this, surely. Damn, this is very well made. Very, very well made. What was that? Who's he next to? Is that baby? God, he's cross-eyed. I oh, know he's not. Never mind. There's Michael. Is it done? I guess that's Charlie there. Is it Charlie, the one that is inside the puppet? It's done. He's free. So he was freeing the souls 
I really caused all of this. You don't say, William. You don't say, buddy. No, no, it was someone else. You did. Farewell, father. And now he's going to be stuck in this freaking, like, world. This Spongebob nothingness. He's not going anywhere. He's going to hell. Or maybe this is his punishment. To be just stuck here. So this was the the guy at the lake. Who I keep calling Old Man Consequence. Which I don't know if that's what he's actually called. Okay, he's gone. And now he's looking on in a theatre. Back to Caelid. William. When was the last time you saw that one priest? I believe it was summer, 79. Well, was his name Lawrence Hawk? Yes. Was he on this lake? He was. I met him. His wife. She had refused to give birth to that third child. That night he wounded himself severely while she was still asleep. He covered her in his own blood, placing the sisters on scissors on her sisters. He then died as he laid next to her. The kids woke up before his wife did. And they saw the whole scene in the morning. I see. It seems like Henry will never know the truth. How does that make you feel? I remember how I... I couldn't see how afraid he was that day. I think it does hurt a little. There was never any hope for me, right? Dead men cannot ever be redeemed. However, I think it'd be the same outcome if you were alive. I suppose it's how it's always been. An evil like yours is hard to find, William. It's been interesting. I'm grateful for that. May you rot in the fiery pits, William Afton. So was he, is this like old man consequence or whatever, he's like the the guy who decides if you go to heaven or hell. Sounds like it, like he's the judge. So, cause he says we're between time, right? So I feel like that guy was like the judge of where you go, heaven or hell. Now he's doomed to walk down to hell. Ugh. If hell did exist, it probably would be like a... Your own version of hell. Not like fire and freaking, you know, being tortured every day. But you'd be tortured by your own mistakes. There he is. Go back up those stairs. We had a deal. And the deal would come to an end if I lost interest. I have no use for you anymore. You got soft. Say it to my face.
Interesting, though. Like, if that, if that is, like, you know, you get pushed into that lake to go to hell, then it's interesting that this man's fishing in that lake. Like, what's he fishing for? What is it? Something he'd can, something he'd consider a gift. What we did is seen as an everyday thing. Now we've just become a character. So that's it. Is that how it ends? Seems like it. This is no longer special to me. Ascending? What's going on? They're both ascending. What's going on? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh wow, okay, so now he's just, that's hell. He's in hell. Constantly suffering. No peace for him. Very skinamarink esque. Damn. What's that? It's the outside. What is it that he didn't tell me? Wow. Okay. Okay, so... Is this meant to represent like there's no, nothing in the suits anymore? Family comes first. Animated and written by Scope.wad. Music from Leon Riskin, A Shell in the Pit. Scorn, Lustmord, Athic, Postal. Model textures, material add ons. Okay. So it was done by basically. Okay, it was basically done by one person with the help of like, like textures and stuff that are probably available for a price or whatever. 
let's have a look in the comments section and see what people think. You know what, no, before I look in the comments section, let me give my thing. So I believe that the whole thing was purgatory. We start off at the end of FNAF 3, maybe. And like the whole scenes between there is him being led to the diner or the pizzeria in which they all kind of get gathered up and then melted in a furnace, right? And But from this perspective, it's like William is trying to gather everyone to do that. But in the games, it was Michael that's gathering everyone to do that. And the whole thing is meant to be like, maybe he's redeemable, maybe he's not. But then you see, hear him say, well, you see him say stuff like, I'll do it all over again. I'll probably change my method. There's no forgiveness. There's no guilt there. That there's no feeling bad about what they did but for some reason i mean he cares for the children obviously his children who died freakishly from not his fault and i guess he wants to see them go to heaven but he knows that he's a bad person and deserves to go to hell and the whole thing is like a purgatory of him like and i feel like the the in-between parts of him at the lake is him talking with almost like this mediator of heaven and hell and he decides what happens to you and you know we see that the the puppet michael baby they all kind of went to heaven from the looks of it and he went to hell um it was very artistic for sure and the visuals were amazing the sound design was really really good stuff like this isn't going to be for everyone because a lot of people just think like oh well this isn't scary like but it's the context of it all if you read between the lines is like it's terrifying the spring trap is forever stuck in that hell pit and those kids you got to think about the the victims of these 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 children that he killed their life was snuffed away and right at the end you see like where the crying child and that other spirit was i think that other spirit was someone that william killed and was holding his son almost hostage inside that suit just to kind of taunt and like haunt uh, William and I guess he had to fight his demons or whatever he had to go through all this hell in order for this and eventually this kid was like you know my parents themselves have just recently died like 10 years ago and yet here I am haunting you and they're basically saying i'm just gonna let this go and that's when the crying child was let go as well but that was super interesting oh okay so when william was with the flesh spring trap he was going through each of his child's deaths and that makes sense actually yeah yeah that made that, that makes sense because he was dragged into and i guess he was the one that was doing it all if you think about it. william was the one that was doing it so this flesh trap or whatever you want to call it it's william flesh trap that sounds so weird was fighting with him and it was william that then stuck him or accidentally maybe put him into fred bear's mouth and that represents his first kid dying and then the whole the elevator going down into the sister location location you, you, it opens to baby with the scooper and that's how his daughter died she was scooped into baby that definitely was purgatory for him and he, maybe he has to keep reliving that over and over again from waking up to going down to hell to waking up to going down to hell like that's his life and he's constantly trapped there this was made by one person this was made by scope underscore wad wad I don't know how to say that, but they deserve a heck of a lot more subscribers and likes. Please go like the video, go subscribe. The video will be linked down below. Go show all your support, leave a nice comment. They, they deserve a heck of a lot more viewers than this. Well, this, look, the first teaser, it was teased three years ago. Then it was, so the, the idea of it was like three years ago and that's only just came out three days ago. That was really, really good. You guys definitely go support them. That was, that was awesome. Uh, guys, if you did enjoy this reaction, leave a like rating on this video. Subscribe if you did really enjoy. And uh, if you got something that you'd like me to see, consider joining my Discord and pop it in the Scare Bass submission channel because um, I love watching stuff like this. A lot of you, but like I said before, submitted this to me and it was only Sonic the Hedgehog who got through in the end. But um, yeah, I love seeing stuff like this. So be sure to do that, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.